Hello, I'm Disney Obsessed and I just got back from Walt Disney World, which means a haul video. So I bought a lot, like always, and I'm super excited to show you guys, so let's get into it. The first thing I got was obviously a magic band and I got pink this year. I actually really like the new style. I didn't like it at first, um, but I got used to it. I think it's really nice. Um, I do feel like the response time is quicker. Um, the first thing I bought myself, and the most expensive thing I bought myself, was an annual pass. Um, I had originally booked my package with an eight-day park hopper when there was a Canadian resident deal. Um, but I decided to upgrade to an annual pass because even if you go twice in a year, it does save you so much money. Especially with the merchandise discount, currently it is 20%. So it does save you a ton of money and something seriously to think about if you can go at least twice in a year. The next thing I got myself immediately after the annual pass was the second most expensive thing I bought. And it is one of the Dooney and Burks that were released for the Food and Wine Festival. And I got the one with figment on it. There's the Spaceship Earth in the middle and the skyline of... The World Showcase. Obviously Figment in his um, chef costume and he is eating some grapes very happily. And yeah, I just really love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, I really, really love that purse and that was the one thing I was after this trip so everything else was a bonus. Speaking of the Food and Wine Festival, that was one of the things I was looking forward to most this trip as I've never been to the Food and Wine Festival before. So I did obviously get one of the passports for the Food and Wine and you basically take the stickers and put it on each booth you've eaten and you can mark what you've tried from that booth so it's a great way to keep memory and this is free. Again, as I am an annual pass holder now, I was able to collect the annual pass holder pins which were free as long as you bought something at the booth so I guess it's not really free is it? Um, so these are the two you got inside the Festival Center with the uh, Remy on them. And then as you ate at certain booths at the Food and Wine Festival, um, you got to collect these little annual pass holder buttons. There was eight different ones to collect. I only collected seven out of the eight because I really didn't want to eat at the chocolate booth because that booth honestly sounded disgusting and I didn't want to waste my money just to get a tiny little button. So I did collect seven out of eight of them though. Also at the Food and Wine Festival, I did go with the gift card wristlet. Um, makes paying at the Food and Wine Festival a heck of a lot easier as they just scan it and you're on your way and you don't have to fumble for change. It also helps keep the line super speedy. So if you look at it close, it says 2017 um, and it has Remy on it, which is super, super cute. Um, I really enjoyed this. Uh, it, like I said, made it really fast, but as I didn't use all the money I'd put on it, I just used it at different stores. As it is technically a gift card, it isn't limited to the Food and Wine Festival. Next thing I want to show you is the free shampoo and conditioner you get in the room. So some uh, face soap and bath soap. The shampoo and conditioner. I love the scent. I personally love the change. Like, I do miss the Mickey ears. I really do, but I love the scent of this product. So I'm really happy with it. So um, I did go to Basin. I didn't buy too much this time, but just to stick with the stuff that's in the bath bag. I did get a lip balm that was coconut flavored. And it's so nice, I definitely recommend it. And then I got three of the Mickey bath bombs. I'm super excited to use these. Basically, when you are having the Disney blues, what could be better than a Mickey bath bomb? Some other little free stuff. Um, I did get tons of Mickey stickers again. This one has no tail. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. And it's really annoying. <laughs> and then and just some normal Mickey heads. Can't get enough of these. Get them every time. Mike and Sully's. <laughs> then when I checked in, I don't know why, cause it was only a party of one. I went by myself and they still gave me four luggage tags. Thank you. And Donald was in there and Donald's my favorite. So it's a good day. I also kept the map for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party as again, it was the first time I went uh, during this time of the year. So I went to the Halloween party and just to keep the memory I did want to keep the map, so that's what this looks like. 
so a couple little things that I bought. I did buy myself a new lanyard, and this one's so awesome. It has little classic Mickey hats all over it. And then on the inside, it is a ton of characters in the shape of Mickey hats. I don't know if you're going to be able to make that out, but that's what that is. <laughs> I really love that. And then I bought myself a new keychain because I didn't have enough things on my keys, obviously. But I got this Cinderella's castle and I just think it's gorgeous. It hangs on this silver string and it does have a little tag on it that says... Disney World if that is upside down <laughs> there we have it yeah so I got myself that keychain and lanyard and then for the annual pass I got myself the Oswald lanyard I love Oswald and I did pick up the Tsum Tsum pouch to hold my annual pass so I'm just going to start picking stuff out of the suitcase. It's uh, not really in any order, but that's all right. Um, first thing I am picking out of this suitcase is the Hidden Mickey book. I am going with my boyfriend in April, hopefully, so I thought this would be a fun book to look at before we go together. Uh, the first time we would be going together, so again, I thought that would be really awesome. I did pick up a popcorn bucket. Uh, it is the Halloween one, that's why I got it, I don't usually get these, but it has Huey, Dewey, and Louie on it, and then two Mickeys? Um, that really confused me, but yeah, I really, really like this popcorn bucket. Next up, I will show you some clothes that I bought, um, some Disney, some not Disney, so bear with me. Um, Uniqlo sells these really cool fake books, basically, the empty books, uh, that's magnetic, um, has a picture of a Disney movie on the front and it has a t-shirt with the exact same print on it and a pin inside. It's only $20 too so it's a great deal. Um, so this is the one that I picked up for my stepmom. She was really wanting this so I haven't taken out of the wrapper yet, the Snow White one. So that's the picture that would be on the uh, pin and the t-shirt. As Donald is my favorite, um, <laughs> I obviously had to get the one with Donald on it. Uh, Chip and Dale. So if we open this up, I will show you the pin. Exact same picture that's on the box. And then this is the t-shirt. Again, this was $20 for the box, the t-shirt, and the pin. The next clothing item that I bought at Uniqlo, possibly one of my favorite definitely one of my favorite pieces of Disney merchandise I own is this amazing amazing jacket kind of like a varsity jacket so it has Mickey on this side and then it says a Mickey Mouse on this side so it looks like that but it's the back that's really awesome It says Mickey Mouse World Tour, and it has all six places where there are Disney parks. Next t-shirt I bought was this really, really cute Mickey Mouse one. It has little Mickeys all over it. I will bring it closer to the camera. It's just so cute. I couldn't pass this up, and what's really awesome is on the sleeve it does say... Walt Disney World on it. Next t-shirt I bought is one of the newer releases. Um, it's almost like Disney is getting threatened by the small shops on Etsy that are making really awesome Disney t-shirts because they just released this whack ton new line of like new millennial style t-shirts. Um, very expensive but they're competing and I did buy one. It has the castle on it and it says my happy place on it and this couldn't be more true because Disney really is my home. I could not pass this up. When I was at the Food and Wine Festival, I did want to pick up a t-shirt to remember it because I don't know when I'll be able to go again. So this is the front, Taste Your Way Around the World, and it has some stamps in the background of certain countries. 
but the back is really awesome. So it does say 2017 Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, and then it has each booth that was at the festival. One night when I was in Disney Springs, I did have a reservation at T-Rex, and I found one of the funniest t-shirts I've ever seen, and I love this because it's not incredibly cheesy or tacky. It's just, it just has some laugh value to it. So this is what it looks like. And it does say T-Rex Orlando on it. How funny is that? So here's the non-Disney clothing that I bought real quick. I went to Zara and I bought a couple things. So this is a sweater I got. It's an army shortcut and it says Eternal Dilemma on it. I did get a pair of skinny jeans, mid-rise, um, normal wash, but what's really cool is on the pockets it has embroidered flowers on it. I really, really like these. And they're super comfy. They were pretty cheap, to be honest. They were like 30 or $35. And the, yeah, the back is just normal, but I really liked the flower detail on there. Then I got another pair of pants from there, but they're more dress pants than anything, but they could be worn super casual as well. This uh, dark and navy blue and yellow stripe um, with a cinched high waist. You tie the front into um, a bow and they are skinny. When I was on vacation, I did buy two hats. I am a beanie girl. I wear beanies most of the week and I found this really cool uh, beanie with Mickey on it. It's the, um, what do they call that? Hipster Mickey. He has glasses and a beanie. He has a coffee in one hand and his phone in the other and he's wearing sneakers and it's just super awesome. I did get a baseball cap as well. It has Mickey on it on the side. It's kind of like a suede material. And then on the side, it says uh, Mickey Mouse. Next up, I will do plushies. First up, from the Japan store. I don't even know what these are called, but they are awesome. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, as a head pillow. They did have smaller ones that could be as little uh, stuffed animals for kids. And then they had ones that were like the size of body pillows. I would have loved to take one of those home, but I just couldn't afford the room this trip. Hopefully next time. Um, but he was my pillow all week. And he was my pillow on the way home. And I couldn't love him more. He is like the cutest freaking thing ever. Like look at that mouth. I found this on my last night in the ye old Christmas shop in Magic Kingdom and I could not believe my eyes when I saw this and I ran straight to the till with it and bought it. It is the Christmas Donald Duck. He has like a little um, hat on here. It's so soft too. He has his matching scarf on and he has his blue jumper on. And he is just awesome. He's actually pretty big if you can try and make some kind of size comparison. But I love him so much. Donald, again, is my favorite. I can get and not get enough of him. And I can't believe I found him. Um, I'd seen him online and I thought that he was just in Disneyland Paris. When I went there in June, I tried to find him and they told me they were only out around Christmas time. So I kind of just gave on, up hope on ever finding him. And I saw him in the Christmas shop at Disney World and I could not be more ecstatic about it. Next up, I did find a couple Donald Tsum Tsums and I didn't even know these existed to be honest, so I was pretty pumped when I saw them. The first one is Frontierland Donald. He does have a cowboy hat on and you know, some cowboy clothes obviously. Oh, so cute. And then the second one I found was a Director Donald. So I found him in the Tower of Terror gift shop and he has a little uh, microphone on the side so he can shout at everybody as Donald would. I just thought he was so cute I needed to get him. Now I'm going to show the stuffies that I got in the Japan store Mitsukoshi, um, Japan Pavilion at Epcot. I always spend a ton of money in that store. It is a weakness of mine when I go to Disney but priceless at Disney, I guess. That's how they get you. So I did pick up Gigi from Kiki's Delivery Service. She's so beautiful. 
like she's massive, but they had a tiny, tiny one that is probably the size of her head for $22. And uh, this one was only 30, I say only, but $30. So I paid the $8 more to get the one that's way bigger and honestly way cuter. So excuse me that I don't know off the top of my head what this character is called, but he is from Princess Mononoke. Uh, chills out in the forest. He's just super freaking cute and I couldn't resist bringing him home. Next up is the little mouse from Spirited Away. And hanging up on my window that I did also get this trip is the little bird that carries him around everywhere. So I have him hanging with my soot ball on the window. This isn't really a plushie, but it is Spirited Away and I did get it at the Japan store. Is this little pouch of No Face. Has a zipper in the back and I started using this to put my cash and cards in. Don't tell anyone. Um, and hung it on my waist for the trip and I just think this is super clever to use as a travel bag and put your money in it as it is no face. Just to finish off the plushies, I did pick this up at the Pirates of the Caribbean ride and it is the Pluto as the dog in the Pirates of the Caribbean ride uh, right at the end where the dog has the keys in his mouth and the uh, prisoners are trying to bait him to give them the keys so they can escape. So as you can see here, he has his keys in his mouth and he does have his little pirate hat on. This is honestly one of my favorite plushes that I bought on the trip. I cannot get enough of this plush and he's super soft and he's really cute and I can't get enough of him. This is a mini plush and also a magnet that I am putting on my fridge and it is Donald Duck. Just thought I'd show him real quick. I did pick him up this trip. I freaking love him. Just to continue with the Japan store I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I bought there. I did pick up some cookies and cream pocky because I have to every time I go. It is my favorite. I also did pick up some chopsticks for myself and my boyfriend. So for me, I got this pair here. And then for him, I got this pair with sushi all over it. And if we ever want to eat sushi at home, I did grab us a soy sauce dispenser. And I did pick us up uh, two little trays to hold the soy sauce. This one kind of looks like an eggplant, I'm not really sure. <laughs> and then this one looks like a radish. One thing that the Japan store has against me and I will always spend money on in that store is socks. Um, I bought a lot of socks this trip. So the first pair I got were these uh, pom 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 toe socks, which are so super strange, but I can't get enough of them and they're super cute. <laughs> I did get three pair of the socks that separate your big toe from the rest of them. So these ones are white with little goldfish all over them. This pair, I'm not even sure what this would be called to be honest, but this is the second pair. And the third pair, it just looks like a little gnome. <laughs> Super cute. Then I did buy a pair of Sailor Moon socks. And then I bought a pair of Totoro socks. And I bought one pair um, just in the world of Disney. Um, they're Baymax socks. So one side has him in his red armor. And then the other side has normal Baymax. But what I didn't even realize when I bought them is that on the foot it says ba la la la. <laughs> I cannot get enough of these. These are like the cutest thing ever. And I'm just gonna insert this here. I did buy a pair of Sanex sandals. Um, it's kind of like the yoga mat bottom and burgundy. So next I will do mugs cups, I guess. Um, first um, mug that I got is the Epcot tumbler from Starbucks that just got released. It is simply gorgeous. I cannot get enough of this. I drank coffee out of it at work today. The only thing I can say is that I'm absolutely terrified to break this because it is gr glass or ceramic, um, but it is just simply gorgeous and I had to have it. I bought two actual mugs for myself and one of them is the pumpkin Halloween mug. So this is the one side. And then this is the other side. I just thought this was so cute. And the second one is 
pretty well Halloween. I couldn't pass this up. It was a little expensive, but I knew if I didn't buy this time, I would never find it again, probably. So I just decided to suck it up and bring it home now. Like, I'm really complaining because I love it so much, but it is the Poison Apple. And it does continue all the way around. Like, how amazing is that? I cannot get over this. And then the next cup, it's more of a cup than anything. Um, I found this in the Mexico Pavilion and because it has Donald on it, I kind of had to get it. It has Donald with a sombrero on it and it says Mexico Epcot on it. I didn't actually buy that much stationery this time, surprisingly. Um, this doesn't really count as stationery, but I got a mini photo album this time, 2017. It holds 100 photos. And I did get two notebooks from the Japan store. This is a Kiki's delivery service one. And this one is a Totoro one. Also, I did buy another film print to put on my uh, Studio Ghibli wall. And it is this one from A Whisper of the Heart. And I cannot wait to put this one up. I did buy a postcard. I have already stuck it in a frame, so no, it does not come like this. But I just got a frame from Walmart for $3. I'm sure you've seen this picture before and tons of people showing this postcard in their haul. Is Walt Disney and the castle um, kind of as a fade in picture on top of the landscaping as he never actually got to see the land being broken in to start um, Walt Disney World. Um, he actually died four months before they actually started construction, which is pretty sad. Um, but this is such a beautiful picture. Um, so I really wanted it and I wanted to frame it and put it on my wall. Next thing I got and started this trip was a press coin collection. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I'll just show you the inside. It opens up, it has three pages for the press pennies and one page for the press quarters. Um, I got a lot of the ones from the Haunted Mansion. And then some from each park. Um, and I do want to finish this someday or fill it up and keep going. Um, so I thought this was really cool. I started a press coin collection. And I do collect magnets every time I go. I did buy four this time. So I started with a stitch. I did get one for the Food and Wine Festival as, again, it was the first time I went and it was super exciting. I wanted a magnet to remember it. I really love T-Rex, so I got the most awesome magnet ever <laughs> from the restaurant. And, of course, I got one to commemorate the year that I went. And it has Sorcerer Mickey on it, Walt Disney World. I really love this magnet. And just to throw this in here, my dad did once have an antenna topper of Jack Skellington and someone rudely stole it. So I am going to surprise him as I did buy him a new one. He's going to love this. So next up is pins and I stupidly forgot to film the haul before I put them on my pin board. So a lot of them are already on there so I will show it. Um, but it is again already on the pin board. I do have a couple to show you though. Um, I did do the Keys to the Kingdom tour and you do get a name tag. So this is what it looks like. It's really nothing special, but I don't want to throw it out. It says Keys to the Kingdom on it. But what's really cool about going on this tour, let's not even mention it going backstage because it was the coolest thing ever, is the pin they give you that you can only get if you do the tour. So it's in the shape of a key and it does say keys to the kingdom on it. I hope you can pick that up. I did buy this pin set. I'm not taking it out of the box. This is too precious to even touch, but it is the limited edition um, of 1500 release for the Epcot Food and Wine Festival. And it is a Mickey, a Donald, Kronk, and Stitch holding ice cream cones. This isn't going to be the best presentation I've ever made as they were already on the pin board. But let's stop with the t start with the top row here. I did get a Soon Soon mystery pack um, that had five in it. You don't know who you're going to get. And I obviously got Mickey, Minnie, Donald. Dale and Pooh Bear, and obviously I just care that I got Donald because Donald is my favorite. Next up, I got a blind pack of the donuts. 
And the donuts are probably my favorite. So I got mini. Again, Donald is my absolute favorite, so I can't believe I got him twice. I got Tinkerbell Stitch, 101 Dalmatians. Up here, I did get one of the blind boxes for the party, uh, the Minky's Not So Scary Halloween party. I got Goofy, and I did get one of the chasers, which is one in a thousand. Um, so that's really cool, and his bag is shiny to show that he's special. Down here, I did get one of the little tiny blind bags that has one pin in it. Um, that's $5.95, I believe. I got two of them, and I got two Goofies. What are the chances? So honestly, I'm just going to trade one of them, which is fine because the pin was not very expensive. I traded one of the pins I had in my collection that I wasn't too fond of for the Donald feet. And then I got one of the blind bags. Um, again, there's five in a bag, and I don't really, it wasn't really called anything specific. It just had like best friends basically in these pins. So we got Mickey and Pluto here. We have um, Aladdin and Genie. Um, this is from Oliver and Company. Don't ask me what the dog's name is. And then we got. Uh, Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Is that their name? Please don't kill me if that's wrong. And then we have Mushu and Mulan. And then this is another Donald pin that I traded for out of my collection. So I'm super happy I got that. And I also got the booster pack of the cupcakes because I think they're super adorable and I'm not going to trade any of them. Next up, I did buy the annual pass holder pin for both the Halloween party and Epcot International Food and Wine Festival, so I'll just give you a close-up here. It is Figment, again, in his chef costume, some of the pavilions at the top, and just a ton of food and wine, obviously, surrounding him, and it does say pass holder at the bottom. And the pass holder pin for the Halloween party is Hades, and they're standing over a boiling pit of whatever you want to call that, a cauldron, and it does open up, and this is what it looks like inside. So I'm just going to close that. So the next pins I got, I did pick up this one, um, Angel and Devil Donald. I did pick up these two stitch pins. I did pick up the, this Chippendale one, Donald's mixtape. Going down here, I got this one of the Fox and the Hound. I got this Alice in Wonderland pin that says Stay Weird. This is possibly one of my favorites. This Toad's Taxi Service pin. I got this um, Sally pin, which is mocking one of the paintings in um, the Haunted Mansion. I can't get enough of this pin. I think it's truly beautiful. I picked up this Mulan pin for my boyfriend, as Mulan is his favorite movie. I did get this pin here that is the autograph book. It comes with the pen and you can open it up and it has everyone's autograph. How cute is that? And that is it for the pins on this trip. Other than that, I did buy some Christmas gifts for my boyfriend, which I'm not going to be showing in this video because he may be watching this. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed my very expensive lengthy haul once again. I will be bringing to you another kind of mishmash mosh of a Disney vlog again once I can finally get it to upload as it is quite lengthy again. And once we go in April, I will be vlogging again and filming another haul. So please subscribe, keep in touch, and I will see you next time. Bye!